Good morning. I'm David with His Word Lives Ministry, and I want to welcome you this morning. Thank you for your desire to draw close to Jesus this morning. We're going to be looking at some scriptures this morning in Bible time about a call to Christian dedication. Yeah, a call to Christian dedication. We've been looking at salvation and how we bless the Father and the Son by our belief in Jesus' mercy and what he did on the cross, uh, uh, making it possible for us to have a new life and be part of an inheritance that will never fade away. And also, there's going to be trials that come along the way. And these trials refine us as we go through temptations from the flesh and from Satan. We are refined spiritually in that we know to rely and trust on Jesus during this time. And it creates a citizenship in us, a godly citizenship, as we are children of the Most High God. Praise God this morning. I'm so glad you're with us. We're going to be in the book of 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 13 through 17 this morning. And we're going to be having prayer time this morning. I want to lift up your prayer request to Jesus straight into the throne room of heaven as I approach my Lord and my Savior. I want to pray for you. What's on your heart? What are the needs in your life? Whatever they may be, a situation or a help need, I want to pray for you this morning. We've had some others already send in prayer requests. Let's go ahead and, and mention their requests this morning. Nina Stanley asked prayer for herself and her health and headaches. Jackie Fain asked prayer for her brother and his wife as he's had has pneumonia in his lungs and he's in the hospital. Glenda Chilton asked prayer for herself and her husband Mark as he has cancer. Mason Strickland asked prayer for himself. Odell, Edna, and Steve Rickett, I'd like to lift them up in prayer and their health situation. Jody Roden asked prayer for herself. Jackie Walraven asked prayer for herself and her family and for guidance. Yeshwat Kumar asked prayer for him and his family. Vicki Furlow asked prayer for Tim Hendricks, who's in need of a kidney transplant. And they're seeking kidney donors now. Kidney donors. Anyone uh, and know something about that, let us know. Deborah Scott asked prayer for her daughter, Connie. Tammy Mead asked prayer for her son and her husband sick, and she's recovering from a virus. Kenneth Stevens asked prayer for a situation about auto repairs. And I'd like to pray that we prepare our minds today, spiritually and mentally. And let's go ahead and go into Bible time, and then we'll pray about your prayer request in these. 1 Peter 1, 13 through 16. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. God's holy word tells us this morning, it's a call to Christian dedication. God's holy word tells us to gird up the loins of our mind. This means to uh, focus on the thoughts and the, the spiritual relationship with God in our mind and prepare our minds for today and discard any spiritual or, or mental 
uh, intoxication. Have a clear mind, a sober, clear mind with Jesus and following him in today. Gird up the loins of your mind. Be sober and clear in your thinking and hope to the end for the grace. I've got a hope that never wears out. Every day I can get up with the hope of my salvation or the grace, the divine favor that God has poured out upon me and that my sins are forgiven. And I am pure and holy and I can stand in front of my Savior Jesus every day. And then one day at the end <clears throat> of my salvation and at the revelation of Jesus Christ, when he comes back, I'll see the end uh, of the need for grace. I'll never need grace anymore once I'm out of this body in a new body, living in the presence of God Almighty, even Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. But let's gird up our loins. Let's focus in on what salvation has given us, a beautiful relationship with God and purity and an ability to gird up our, our loins, the Lord says, and have a spiritual and mental awareness and soberness about us that we're going forward and we're pressing on to live for Jesus today. And let's go ahead and go on to 14. <clears throat> As obedient children, not fashioning yourself according to the former lust in your ignorance. Let's be obedient. Let's pay attention to the witness of the Holy Spirit bearing witness with our spirit. And let's follow God today through the indwelling of the Holy Spirit talking to us and letting us know what Jesus and God the Father would have us to hear. And let's not fashion or let's not follow, <clears throat> let's not follow the things of our former lust and ignorance. Or in other words, let's not follow the things of the world, the things that are popular in the world, arrogance, self-righteousness. Let's follow Jesus in our lives today and to be obedient to him. But it's he which has called you to be holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. The one that's called you to be holy is God, a pure God that's never sinned, a holy God that's never made a mistake, a God that's worth being your God, perfect and holy. That God is calling you and me to be holy today. And we can do this by spiritually taking on the likeness of Jesus, our Lord and Savior, and the power of the resurrection to live a righteous day today, a day where we take on his righteousness and walk holy as his children. That's what the scripture is telling us to do in all manner of conversation. Watch what you say with your mouth. Make it be uplifting to others. Hold others more important than yourself. Praise God for the things that happen along the way and give him glory with your conversation and your conduct. We are citizens of the most high God and Jesus, his son. <clears throat> because it is written in verse 16, be ye holy, for I am holy. Be ye holy. Let us seek out to be holy in our day, this beautiful day that we have been given by Jesus. Let's go to the Lord in prayer as we look forward into this day and our call to Christian dedication. Let's be dedicated today to our Lord and Savior and walk with good conversation and be ye holy just as God is holy. 
Let's go to the Lord in prayer. We want to lift up your prayer requests now. And we want to pray for the ones that send in these prayer requests. Dear Jesus, we come to you today, God. And Lord, we're just thankful that we can approach you because of what Jesus did on the cross, God. He made it possible for us to have him as a savior. And God, we praise you for that in this prayer this morning, God. And we lift up all of these prayer requests to you, Lord. And we just lay them up, God, and give them to you, God, in faith and humbleness and knowledge that you love us, God, so much and you care about these people and their desires and their situations. And God, we lay up the prayer request of the viewers, God. We pray for them, whatever their prayer request might be. And God, please do have your will and way and, and show blessings of kindness and care out to these that's come to you with a pure and a dedicated heart, God. As we go about our day, God, we hear your call to Christian dedication and be with us and help us every step of the way, God, to live out our day for you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Thank you for being with us today. God bless you. And may you have a beautiful day. Just clearly see what Jesus would have you to do today. God bless you.